In this video series I'm going to program a music tracker, but first let me show you its features. You can put in notes here, you can manipulate the volume, you can manipulate the duty cycle, you can manipulate the duty cycle in the runtime. All these values here are, are hex values by the way, so you can put in characters here, it will work as well. You can draw a selection and cut stuff out, paste it in here again, or you can make a selection and copy it, you don't need to cut it. You can also press the delete key and delete stuff. You can um, you can make a selection and transpose a note, one up. You can also transpose an entire octave, up or down. You can cut the pattern. You just have one pattern right now, so he starts from again from, this, from begin. But we can also add new patterns. It would sound like this. Or you can play the entire pattern, just delete the cut function. Well, you can copy patterns. So we have a copy of this guy two times here. And if you put in stuff here, it will also be written back in the other guys. So you can delete patterns. You can also swap patterns. All with a numpad, you can also change the pattern, the actual pattern you're in. You can uh, what else do we have? Yeah, you have a wave table generator or wave generator. Here is the actual wave editor. We have a triangle wave here actually. And you can manipulate it the way you want. Something like this, for example. Or any shape you want. Uh, something like this. Which gives it a much sharper sound. But you could also enhance the other two channels, these two pulse channels, by another square wave or duty cycle square wave, pulse wave. Yeah, <clears throat> that's the wave generator, wave editor. We also have a noise. It's a one bit noise. We can, we can create sounds like this. Wait, let's delete us the stuff. You can also manipulate the volume here, of course. And you can frequency modulate the signal, the noise. Wait for it. It would actually sound like this. What else do we have? Ah, yes, we can mute the channels. For example, now the noise is muted. Yes, you also, we also have a basic vibrato. In all three channels here, except for the noise channel, we <coughs> can load, we can save, of course, which is very important. We uh, what else do we have? Um, 
we can jump patterns. For example, if we put in here, this tells the program jump to position, cut this pattern right here and jump to position one. Yeah, as you can see, jumps to position one and on this position here, in this pattern in this position, and you can also add um, a loops setting so it will just repeat it two times. Let's put in a sound here, it's more interesting sounding, interesting sounding. So it repeats two times and then starts from begin continues continues to operate beyond this mark here. So yeah, that's it. That's the functionality of this program.